Welcome to a very special Boots in Baltimore. I'm Leanne Blanchard and I'm here with Juan Fussell, who is my YouthWork summer intern. <laughs> so, how did you pick this internship? Um, well, they gave me a few options and real estate was actually the second one. <gasps> I initially chose cybersecurity. Um, it's actually what I'm studying in college. Um, but I do have um, an interest in real estate as well. So, so that's how I chose. <laughs> <laughs> so he wasn't too disappointed. So what did you think it was going to be like? Um, I thought that it was going to be like looking not at houses, but more like pictures of houses and then kind of judging them, I guess. <laughs> and seeing like what the problems were, what you're supposed to fix, or I guess what the homeowner was supposed to fix. And then I guess kind of advising them on that. And what is it really like? Or what am I having you actually do? <laughs> um, it's more of marketing and bringing in more cust uh, clients. Mm -hmm. And it's what I'm doing is editing videos for these interviews that we're doing. Um, and reaching out to people to see if they actually want to do an interview. But we have done some real, actual real estate stuff, mm -hmm. right? So what have you, what's something that you've learned about real estate that you didn't know before? Something that I learned was that you don't actually um, receive jobs from like a, a set person. You have to go out and um, really get your own clients mm -hmm. by yourself. You have to market yourself really good so that um, people will come to you and think that you're reliable. You have to build your own clientele, really. Mm -hmm. What's something about houses, something real estate that you've learned? Um, like about the transactions or the process? Uh, I learned about the contracts, like um, there are the two contracts that you showed me. Um, the one that was more vague and then the one that was more in depth. I never knew about those two um, contracts. Um, and I learned the different, how the, the difference between the seller's obligations and the buyer's obligations. So just stuff like that. Very useful stuff, all of it. It was, it was gold. <laughs> so what's a non-real estate skill or or task that I've had you do that you think might be valuable in the future? Um, really just talking to people, kind of building my social skills, um, <laughs> getting in touch with people uh, was kind of hard at first, um, but over the weeks it's gotten really easier mm -hmm. because I've been doing it so much. But when I started, I definitely was, <laughs> I definitely wasn't that great at it. Um, because uh, I hadn't really had a chance to uh, interact with like strangers that weren't really my peers and classmates, stuff like that. And so I think that that really helped me. Yeah, to put yourself out there to fully fledged adults who are career people themselves, and then to get that experience of having them react well to you. Mm -hmm. You know, people were delighted to meet you. They like to see you. They ask you questions about yourself. You did a great job, just saying. Uh, so what has been your favorite day so far? My favorite day so far was when we went to the H HBMA meeting. Mm -hmm. That's um, the Hamden Village Merchants Association meeting. Yes. And I met Councilwoman Odette and the president, mm -hmm. Ben, who works at Atomic Books. Mm -hmm. um, I met them and I met a bunch of other people who work here in Hamden. Yeah, Libby and Melissa. Mm -hmm. What was so cool about that meeting? Because I got to involve, I got to not involve myself, but see how um, like community events get um, passed through the table and everybody gets to know about everything and stuff like that. And I thought that it was really interesting to be like, have the inside scoop on everything. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know that the Merchants Association has to sign off on festivals that happen in Hamden. And it is really interesting to find out from them 
all the inside scoop and everything. Um, that was one of my favorite days too. So do you think you'll pursue a career in real estate? Potentially, yeah. <laughs> I keep telling him he just needs to get licensed and he would have a job in a heartbeat. Yeah. Um, the other day, I can't remember who, I think it was the broker. No, it wasn't actually. It was someone and they told me that um, I could have like a main thing and then real estate could be like something different altogether that I could still do. Mm -hmm. um, so I a think, side hustle. Yeah. I think that's what I'm interested in with real estate. I think that could be good for you. So what are your immediate plans after you're done? Um, immediate plans are probably college for right now. Um, like I said, I'm doing cybersecurity and I'll probably try to get a job as maybe IT after. Mm -hmm. um, I am doing a program uh, after, no, around a year after now. And that will help me with my cybersecurity interests, see if I really do wanna pursue okay. cybersecurity as well. That's fair. Well, we, when we started, I said that by the end, you'll be at least able to make a decision. This is either right for you or it's not right for you and it will be an informed decision. So even though I'm not super happy about it, I'm happy for you that you can at least make an informed decision. But overall, are you glad you did this internship? Yes, I think that it definitely taught me a lot so far. And um, I think that I'm gonna take away a lot, a lot more than I came in with. Aww. And I'm super fun. Yes. <laughs> if I may plug myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we have had a lot of fun. This is Leanne Blanchard, your boots in Baltimore. And we wish Juan all the best in his future endeavors, real estate related or not.